right. So uh, one of the one of the ways that you um, have to present information is standard form. Okay, so standard form is different than slope intercept form. It's standard form is not a way that you will use uh, to solve for information. It's just a, a way that you are going to present information. And okay, so standard form looks like the following. Okay, I would definitely, I'm not going to answer any questions about this uh, individually. So make sure you're following along. <clears throat> All right, so standard form is given this form right here, capital AX plus capital BY equals capital C. And there's several conditions that have to be met for, for you to be in standard form. The first is A, B, and C must be integers. Okay, so what this means is the coefficients involved in, in standard form have to, or they cannot have decimals or fractions. And they have to be integer values. In addition to this, uh, the x's and y's are written on the same side of the equation. And then the constant is written on the right. Okay, so the variable terms are on one side, the constant is on the other side. Okay, they need to be written in alphabetical order. Okay, so in, in the case of X's and Y's, X's will come first. In the case of A's and B's, and the, you're always going to write them in alphabetical order. And then you need to have a positive leading coefficient. Okay, so let's say we want to uh, find the following. And so let's say these are the two points. We want to find the equation of the line containing these two points, and we want to write that equation in standard form. And so step one for this would be to find the equation. So we're going to use our two points function. We're going to enter our coordinates. So 1, negative 2, followed by 7, 1. We're going to enter them uh, as a list. And, and so notice here I get the equation y is equal to, and the way that I would interpret this, <coughs> 1 half x minus 5 halves. And so this would be slope intercept form. And so in order for us to put this in standard form, we need to get rid of our fractions first. So what's the smallest number that we can multiply every term in this equation by to get rid of all fractions? 2, right? So if we might multiply every term in this whole equation by 2, it'll stay balanced. So we have 2y is equal to, here the 2's would cancel, so x minus, and here the 2's would cancel, minus 5. Okay, so now we have the first step done. We've eliminated any fractions or decimals. We only have integer coefficients. And next we go to x and y being on the same side. We want them in alphabetical order, and we want it to have a positive leading coefficient. Okay, so as we do this, you can do one of two things. You can either combine them so that since the x is already positive, we can leave the x on the right side. In order to move the y's over, we have to subtract a 2y. And then to move the constant over to the other side, we add a 5. And so the final step is to put it in this order. So x and y on the left, so we just reorder these. x minus 2y is still equal to 5. It doesn't matter which side of the, uh, the equal symbol it's on. That would be our standard form. So now it fits all of these um, properties.